I reopen again my uh, 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 my plugin. I tag my server, and then that's not my project. I have another one just to test. Yes, connection success. Next, new mapping. Next, the ATP two save. Next. So my mapping, I have to apply my mapping here. For my diagram, I select my requirement, yes. And the, board, the same for my actor type, yes. Okay, so then, <clears throat> the next step will be the export in Polarion. The system will collect all my elements that I have in my, that I have selected in my imagery. I will create the elements inside my uh, 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 Polarion project. Uh, this action can, can take a long time. It depends on how big is your tree and how many elements, of course, you have selected to be exported and if your Polarion is fast or not. Because for um, each element, it will be open it will be open at a new connection to Polarion and Polarion should answer to the plugin and there is a negotiation between uh, uh, your enterprise architect plugin and of course your Polarium. Uh, while the system is exporting uh, the elements, I would like to show you the project. This is my empty project actually with my custom definition and if I refresh my project, I will find all my elements that are exported at my time from, from my, my uh, um, APO. Uh, now this visualization is just flat. If I select my tree visualization, I can also obtain the, the um, dependencies and the linkages, the link between the elements. I can expand my role to four elements like this, and then I will get also all the elements inside. Um, okay, the plugin is still exposed. 14, 8 on 9 written, so I must finish it. <clears throat> All the relationship that will be created um, in, in, in Polarion are not only the, the relationship between elements that you can see in your tree. Because in, in the diagram, you can have relationship between elements that are, that are not shown in this tree. So in your, uh, it's the same in, in your, in your Polarium project, you can find some elements that have strange, let me say, link or can appear, uh, multiple times, uh, if you expand the row and, but with the same ID. And this means just that, uh, this can, this element are linked to multiple elements because the system is able not only to to uh, 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 report to write all the, uh, the the relationship that are just shown like a tree in enterprise access, but also the uh, the relationships that are hidden that are uh, uh, inside the diagram of the elements itself themselves. Sorry. So that's the report page. The report page is just inside the enterprise architect and. <clears throat> it's made for uh, to show to, to the user which elements are uh, were created, um, which kind of elements are cre has been created in, in your in your Polarion uh, uh, project. Like in this case, uh, we have created some EDing, some requirements, and the operations are created. Of course, the operational status is result, and then you have to button. The first one is the open, to open the elements in the AA, so in the Enterprise Architect. Uh, if you just select <coughs> this one, uh, the elements will be just selected on your tree. If you, if you, um, instead of this, if you click on the Open in Polarion, uh, Polarion will be opened inside the same Enterprise Architect interface. And this is very, very nice for the, for the user because the, the user that commonly use an enterprise architect, don't want to modify the, the way to work. So it's very comfortable for them to open uh, uh, the Polarion here inside. So to 
provide username and password, and then the user will be immediately took to the to the element that were selected in the report. As you can see this was my report. I just selected my use case model uh, from here, and that's my use case model with all the elements linked uh, uh, under that. So. Um, as you can see here, in this project, I have also a custom field definition. That's very, very important because uh, uh, there are two possibilities to use this kind of information that you can have in your in your enterprise architect project. The first one is just to not to use the custom field in Covariant and just to use a, a, a project from scratch. Uh, and in, the, in that case, all this kind of information will be written in the description of the, your work item that will be created, both for the eating diagram elements, for every element. There are some, some additional information that are uh, uh, stored in, in, your, in your AA project. And will be written in the description like a new table, a simple HTML table inside the description. In this case, I've defined a custom field that are available in your uh, in your enterprise architect install. In particular, if you go to the uh, to your AAPO install folder, just under the license folder, there is a custom field that XML that is possible to import in your server just to have this kind of this list of custom fields predefined. And this is very helpful because. Uh, by default, we provide uh, the possibility to the customer to get all the information inside the description. But, of course, many customers told us, okay, I don't want to have all this kind of information inside the description itself. It's sufficient to have it inside the custom field. Why? Because I can eye them. I can uh, modify the position of this kind of information, like, for example, in the hat uh, of the work item and all this stuff like that. So we decided to use the custom field directly. We predefined a field. That it's possible to hide, to modify, to to, to show, and, and all this stuff like that. But with um, uh, with the help provided to the user to get just the XML file and upload in in the project. So that's a simple leading. I would like to show you a diagram that is the more interesting part. Uh, package diagram. This is one. <coughs> Okay, and that's the diagram exported. The, the diagram in Enterprise Architect had an image, was an image, was a structure, and in Polarian, uh, our plugin is able to export all the, the, the same diagram like a new image inside the description. And from here you have also the link where it's possible to just by click to open the same elements that you are uh, that you're watching in your in your Polarium project directly inside the interface of the Enterprise Architect. This runs only, of course, if you have Enterprise Architect open with the right project open uh, uh, in the same time when you are clicking on the on the link. Uh, 